Yesu asifiwe. This is a call to salvation. And my name is Pastor Luke Moki from JCC Bombolulu. And uh, I want to share with you what I've entitled, The Power of Choice. The Power of Choice. And if you have your Bible, go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 14. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 14. The Bible says, But the word is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that you may do it. See, I have set before you today life and good, death and evil, in that I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that you may live and multiply, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you go to possess. But if your heart turns away so that you do not hear and are drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I announce to you today that you shall surely perish. You shall not prolong your days in the land which you cross over the Jordan to go in to possess. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both of you and your descendants may live, that you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey his voice, and that you may, be, you may cling to him, for he is your life and the length of your days, and that you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. I will also read the book of First Kings chapter 18. Let's start from verse 20. First Kings chapter 18. And verse 20, the Bible says, So Ahab sent for all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together on Mount Carmel. And Elijah came to all people and said, How long will you falter between two opinions? If it is the Lord God, follow him. But if it is Baal, follow him. But the people answered him not a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone am left prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophet are 450 men. Therefore, let, us, let them give us two bulls and let them choose one bull for themselves. Cut in pieces and lay it on the wood, but put no fire under it and prepare the other bull and lay it on the wood, but put no fire underneath. Therefore, then, then you will call on the name of your gods and I will, came, I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God who answers by fire, he is God. So all the people answered and said, it is spoken, it is well spoken. Jump to verse 36. The Bible says, And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and I am your servant that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that these people may know that you are the Lord God and that you have turned their hearts back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell, on, fell and consumed the burnt sacrifices and the wood and the stones and the dust, and it licked up the water that was in the trench. Now when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Then Elijah said to them, Seize the prophets of Baal, do not let one of them escape. So they seized them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook Kishon and executed them there. I want to share on the power of choice. Where we have read, the Bible says that the word of God is near you, it is in your mouth and it's in your heart. Every man and woman has a choice that they have to make in life. And the choices you choose in, in the present world right now will determine the future that you'll have in the future world that is coming. If you made a, a good choice right now, then in your future life will be good. But if you make a bad choice now, that means the future will not be bright or it will be bad because of the bad choices that you have cho chosen. The Bible speaks about the word of God is near you. Many a times, people have heard the gospel of Jesus. Many people have heard the gospel being preached in the crusades. 
Many people have had the gospel being preached on television like you are watching me right now. Many people have had people knocking at their doors, doing door to door, preaching the God of the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, meaning that this word is near you. You have heard it on the radios. You have read, heard the word of God in social media. But there is always a choice once you hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells me, how will they call on whom they have not believed? And how will they believe in whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher? And how will the preacher preach without being sent? And he says, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the glad tidings or the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Once the gospel, uh, you, you, you are able to hear the word of God, then God demands of you to make a decision. That is why here in, the, in Deuteronomy, it says, I have given you a choice. Choose between life and choose between death. Choose between good and choose be between evil. One thing we know is that everything you know from the days of your Sunday school, from the times when you used to be going to church and you are in teenagehood, you used to hear the word of God. But there is a time where God demands you to make a decision and a decision that you will have to live unto and a decision where you'll have to take account of and be responsible for the decisions that you have made. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to make a distinct, a, a choice to follow Jesus. Jesus will never force you to get saved. Jesus will never force you to receive him as a Lord and Savior. He allows you, he gives you a free will to choose. That's why he says, I have chosen, I have put before you life and I've put on the other side death. And he's telling you, choose life so that you can live. Choose life so that you can have eternal life, the life after this world. Let me tell you something. Every other life has regrets, but the life in Christ Jesus has no regrets at all. The Bible says Elijah one time, there were people who had different opinions about God. Others were following Baal and others were following the true God of Israel. And one day Elijah stood before the people and he told them one question. You have to choose whether you will follow Baal or you will choose to follow God Almighty, the God of Israel. And he gave them an assignment. He gave them a test that they have to put some bulls and put some sacrifices. And the God who answers by fire, that is the God. Because Elijah understood that you don't just talk about Jesus. You have to demonstrate this Jesus. The Bible says the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. That the gospel is demonstrated. Jesus Christ, you have to demonstrate the power of God. Because it is the power of God and the spirit of God that is able to convict men. That they may receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And the Bible says he called the people and he says they have to make a choice. And the prophets of Baal started to call on their gods. Another time they were cutting themselves. And he says, maybe your God is asleep. Call him again. They called him day and night. But the Bible says they were, they, they, they are, the gods of Baal was not able to do anything. And Elijah made a decision. And he says, put for me the sacrifice. And the Bible says he called on the God of Israel. And the God, and he says, let it be known that there is God in Israel. Let it be known that the, I am a servant. And he says, the God who answers by fire. That is God. I came to tell you, the God who answers by fire, he is God. The God who delivered you, that is God. The God who healed you of your sickness, that is God. The God who rescued you when you are in the ICU, he is God. And I came to tell you, you have to make a decision, a decision that is going to help your life, a decision that is going to transform your life. There is nothing like neutral. I have met with people who don't go to church, who don't, who, 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 who are not born again. And when you ask them, they say, me, I am for God. I am with God. But the question is, if you have not born again, you are not on God's side. They are not two places, neutral place. It is either you have God or you have Satan. If you don't have Jesus, you have Satan. And if you don't have Satan, you have Jesus. Let me tell you something, child of God. It is either you are with on God's side or you are on the devil's side. There is nothing like neutral. There is nowhere in Bible where it says people will go to a neutral place. It is either you will be in heaven or you will be in hell. It is either you are in Christ 
or you are of the devil. If you don't, if you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are on the devil's side. If ne if nobody has ever told you that, let me tell you, if you are not on God's side, that means you are on the devil's side. There is no neutral place. And let me tell you something, child of God. Hell was not created for human beings. Hell was created for the devil and his demons and his agents. But men who receive, who refuse the sacrifice of the blood of Jesus are people who are going to follow the devil to hell. I came to tell you one thing. You have to make a decision and the decision is up to you. I cannot force you to receive Jesus. I cannot put a gun on your head to receive Jesus. I cannot uh, hold you by your tie and tell you you have to receive Jesus by fire by force. No, it has to be a decision. It has to be a decision from your heart. Today is your day of salvation. I know I am preaching to you and I know that this word is going to bear fruit in your life. And I came to tell you today, make the right decision. Don't make a decision of death. Don't make a decision of following the enemy. Don't make a decision of going into sin. Don't make a decision of immorality. Don't make a decision of being in drunkenness. Don't make a decision of being a liar. Don't make a decision of being a corrupt person. Make a decision of living for Jesus. I tell you, there is nothing good like living for Jesus. I don't want you to just get saved because you want to go to heaven. Get saved because you want a relationship with God. You want a relationship with this Jesus. You want to walk in this life, living for Jesus, enjoying fellowship with the Holy Spirit spirit. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, there is peace when you have God Almighty. There is enjoyment when you have this Jesus. This is a life where you cannot have any regrets. And I came to tell you, there is a power of choice. The choice is up to you. My work as a preacher is to preach the gospel to you. But the decision lies with you. You can choose to ignore me. But let me tell you something. There is a day, there is a time when you will stand before the judgment seat of God and you'll have to make a and you'll have to tell God on the decision that you made whether you ignore this preacher that is preaching to you right now or you, you, you accepted this gospel that I'm preaching and you say, man of God, I am hearing what you are saying and I want to receive this Jesus. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want death. I want life. That's why the Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 10, it says one thing, the enemy comes to steal, he comes to kill, and he comes to destroy. But Jesus Christ, my God, he has come to give you life, and he has come to give you life and life in abundance. I came to tell you one thing. You don't need to be destroyed by the enemy. You don't need to be killed by the enemy. You don't need to be stolen by the enemy. Receive Jesus. Just get out of the schemes of the enemy and receive him as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says if you believe in your heart and you confess him as Lord and your Savior, he shall be able to come into your life and he will come to abode with inside of you and you'll be a temple of the Holy Spirit. You'll be a holy man of God. You'll be a saint. You don't, you don't need to wait till you die to become a saint. Once you receive Jesus, you become a saint. Like myself, I'm called Luke. I am Saint Luke because I have Jesus. I, I am not waiting to become to, to be to be dead so that I can be called a saint. No, I am Saint. I am Saint Luke. I am Pastor Luke Saint Luke. A man that is born again. I am holy. Why? Because of the righteousness of God, the righteousness of faith. I believed in the finished work of Christ. And Christ was able to save me. Not of what I have done, but by the grace of God. And this grace is available to you this day. I want to tell you the grace is here to you so that you can be able to save. Whenever time you, you say, man of God, I want this Jesus you are preaching to, to me about. I want to make a choice to live. I want to make a choice to have Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. This is your day of salvation. If you hear the voice of God, do not harden your heart. You are hearing two voices. I told you there is no neutral voice. There is one voice that is telling you, today is your day. Receive him. Receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And there is another voice that is telling you, in fact, switch off the TV. That is another voice he's telling you. Another voice is telling you to leave that coach you are sitting and move to the kitchen so that you don't hear me. But let me tell you, defeat the devil right now. Tell him, devil, get out of me. I am making a choice through this telecast. 
I am making a decision. I want Jesus. I am ignoring every voice of the enemy. And I am receiving right, Jesus right now. And I pray for you as I arrest those voices of the enemy. They have no power over your life. Today, you are receiving Jesus. Today, you are making a good choice. If you are telling me, man of God, I want to make that good decision. I want to make a choice because I have discovered that if I don't make the choice, God will not make the choice for me. I have to make it myself. I have to say, Jesus, I want you to be Lord and Savior over my life. Enter into my life and confess him as my Lord and Savior. You are that man, you are that man or woman who is watching me. Young men, old women, old men, whatever status or whatever age you are in. Right now, you can make that choice of receiving Jesus. You're saying you want to receive Jesus, say this after me. Repeat it after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And I confess that Jesus is Lord. And I believe that God raised him from the dead because of my sins. Right now, I am born again. Rub my name in the book of death. And write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I will live all the days of my life for you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe in. Amen. God bless you so much. If you have made that powerful decision, I want to encourage you and tell you, that you have made the most powerful decision, the best decision you have ever made. Look for a Bible-believing church where people preach the word of God, where people are prayerful in that place, where people are taught the word of God, and where people gather, not just on Sunday only, but they gather daily because the early church met daily. Look for that place, stay on fire for God, and continue making good decisions. Because this life is all about the power of choice. Where you will be in future is a matter of the choices you make in the present right now so that your future can be brighter. God bless you so much. Thank you for making that powerful decision of receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Thank you for watching. This is A Call to Salvation. And my name is Pastor Luke Moki from JCC Bombolulu. Mm -hmm.